feathers in my hair and braids around my waist. I'm almost a bird. These mountain views and pink sunsets got me shit and skin. Okay, today's episode is in my hometown sa Mahe, Laguna. It's a very small town dito sa Laguna and super low-key niya. You might have first heard it from me and if nakapunta ka na dito, let me know in the comment section down below. It's located in the southeasternmost part ng Laguna. Actually, boundary na to ng Laguna and Quezon. So, katabi ng Mahe High is Lokban na. If you describe ko yung vibes ng lugar na to, is super provincia kasi walang 7-11 dito but I actually like yung super provincia feels ng area namin dito. Alright, enough of me talking inside dito sa bahay namin. Let me show you around kahit na ulan pa. Hi, hi, tour bago ako mo eh. This is St. Gregory Church. Ito yung pinaka-famous church dito sa amin. At dinadayo ito tuwing uh, Holy Week. And dito ako biniyagaan. Dito kinasal yung parents ko. And dito din kinasal yung grandparents ko. Hmm, naulan. Ito yung cemetery dito sa amin. And katupin niya. This is something na gusto ko nang kuhaan matagal na matagal na. Kasi matagal ko nang minamatahan itong area na ito, itong mga farm na ito. So parang naisip ko dito yung sa style ng Bali. But unfortunately, itong dumadaan ako dito parang uh, hindi siya ganyan ka-green. And minsan umuulan na malakas. And sakto ngayon, umuulan pa din, umabon pa rin. Pero pwede na. So I'll try it and I'll share to you kung okay yung mangyayari. This is my first time driving alone from my hometown to punta sa amin. It's a three and a half hours drive. And so far, so good. Masaya pa lang mag-drive na mag-isa. I don't know. So I just want to share it to you. Okay, just hit this next. Just gonna grab some lunch. Lunch is done. Time to get back on the road. Yep, for sure I'm now in the city. Alright, back in the city, the main reason why I went to my hometown is to visit my grandparents and we eat outside last weekend. I guess one commitment that I made to myself this year is to visit my grandparents each month. I'm lucky because uh, I had a good, great relationship with my grandparents and they're very much present in my life. So I wanted to parang give back in my own way. If there's one major thing that my grandparents unintentionally influenced me is that is to work so hard and find something you love and dedicate your whole fucking life to it. I don't know, I guess I realized this when I still see them work so hard pagkalan so on a season because that's their business. They could actually leave it all behind and retire na because my mom and his siblings has good stable work and they could provide for them naman. But I actually appreciate the pride and dedication ng grandparents ko in their business and ayaw nilang humingi ng money because they still wanted to work. Alright, saglit lang, let me just clean myself, take a shower because these are still my sleeping clothes. 
Okay, back to the main point of this video and that is a weekend adventure. It could mean a lot to different people but for me what it means is to do something new each weekend or to do something fun each weekend. Most people has a job that requires them to do the same task every day, each day, during the weekdays and most people don't actually like what they're doing. That's why I propose the weekend adventure. It's for you to do something fun or to do something that you really love each weekend. Now I know there's a lot of people that loves to rest during the weekend and walang pilitan, walang basaga ng trip, kanya kanyang trip yan. But man, you only live once and try to make the most out of it. Again, I'm just sharing my idea. Again, it could be anything. It could be as simple as learning how to cook, learning that new skill, go to that event near you, or kaya naman puntahan mo yung lugar na matagal mo nang gustong puntahan. Again, it could be anything. Just think of something that makes you want to go out of that bed during the weekends. Just do something that makes you feel alive and gives you excitement. And since nandun na ako sa hometown ko sa my high and I was visiting my grandparents, meron na ako matagal na minamathad na rice field doon that I wanted to get a drone footage of. Uh, so, ginawa ko yun. I went there. It's just that the weather wasn't cooperating and hindi ko nakuha yung shots na gusto ko. And it only means na I have to come back again and hopefully by that time the weather is cooperating na and hopefully, I'll be able to get the footage that I really wanted to capture. Last thing that I want to add in this video is I had a very interesting conversation with my dad last weekend. So, gumising ako ng maga para kuwaan yung sunrise at that rice field. Kaya lang, the weather wasn't cooperating nga. It was raining really hard. And, yun, uh, it made me stop. And parang, uh, kuwaan ko na lang siya later pag pa na ako para isang daanan na lang. So, instead, I had a hot choco with my dad. And he suddenly opens up about my... YouTube channel and nawirdohan ako actually nung uh, binanggit niya yung YouTube channel ko because I wasn't actually open about it talking to other people or kaya naman uh, I mean I don't even share this in my YouTube channel so deep inside sa akin shit you need to get out of this conversation ASAP now the reason why I wanted to get out of that conversation ASAP is because I assume my dad was the same as the general people na he don't get YouTube as a platform to share your ideas share your thoughts find like-minded people and build a community because I think the general public still thinks of YouTube as a platform to get attention and get yourself famous. But I was wrong with how I judged my dad. Sorry dad, uh, he actually gave me constructive criticism which I really appreciate. He said I was improving with how I am expressing myself in my YouTube channel and he actually gave me suggestion of videos na to make videos about my friends who recently became parents and I'm actually considering it because it's a good idea for my adulting series. The reason why this is a big deal for me is because the last time I had a conversation with my friend about my YouTube channel, I was just nodding dun sa mga suggestions and ideas niya because uh, hindi naman niya talaga pinapanood yung YouTube channel ko and he even suggested na, oh, why don't you do prank or why don't you promote yourself into this, into that, para magkaroon ka ng views and this and that. Wala lang, ano lang, parang, mean, hindi niya gets na yung suggestions niya is not in line with the principles that I promote in my YouTube channel. And there's even a time na family gathering namin and I had a cousin na who knows that I make YouTube videos and he tried to parang make fun or joke. Pero hindi, hindi, hindi something serious. Alam mo yung parang gusto niya lang gumawa ng joke. And he started making this subscribe to my channel! And deep inside, uh, alam mo yung feeling na shit. Gusto mo mag-face palm kasi fuck. Yun, so I just made a poker face out of that situation. That's why I really appreciate the conversation I had with my dad. So dad, if you're watching, that's a good talk. That's it for this video. Sorry for the long ending. If you appreciate this video, kindly hit the like button. If you're not yet a subscriber, kindly consider subscribing to my channel. Yeah, see you in the next one. Bye!